In this video, we are going to look at the different API options that our Developer Cloud API provides. Each API has their own set of functionalities that's available in the PDF viewer that you embedded in your website. First, let's take a look at the View API. The View API is a read-only PDF viewer. As we open it up, we can see there is only a Home tab, which shows you basic viewing functionalities. So now, let's take a look at the Annotation API. The Annotation API provides a full set of comments and markup functions that you can add to your PDF. You can find the set of functions under the Comments tab. Now, let's input a note annotation. With the note annotation, you can add comments and messages to publish in the document, which will be viewable for other users when they download the file. Let's also add a text annotation and a text box without any borders or background color. Now let's scroll down to the text of our developer guide PDF and let's put some commenting on the text. This is what we call a squiggly. I'll also add some strike through to demonstrate how the annotation works. I can put a shape object here on the text We can add a little arrow for marking or highlighting an important area of your document. We also have a pencil tool. And we also have stamps. These are the stamps which we provide by default. You can have your own custom stamps by uploading your own images. We can include a file attachment. So let's include a little image attachment here. Let's also add a hyperlink. Hyperlinks are generally quite useful in PDFs. You can create a little box annotation, which is clickable, and we're going to set it to link to an outside web link. Here, we will input a link to the Developer Cloud API page. And every time this file is sent to another user, they can click on the box annotation to direct them to the linked page. We can also add video and audio to our document. And these are some very useful functionalities that you can add to your document to make them more interactive. Now let's take a look at the Form API. It has some very useful functionalities too. It provides form filling and form submitting functions, and also email automation, which we're going to demonstrate. On the top, we can see the Submit Form button. Let's open a file with a PDF form in it. This is our contact form, and it contains three form fields here. So let's input a name, an email, and then some text just to see how this feature works. And after we've finished filling out our form, we can go ahead and click the Submit Form button. And as you can see, there's going to be a confirmation message at the bottom corner of the page. And what this means is that the contents which we typed in the form field is going to be sent as an email to the form owner or admin. And we can see the email notification here. Last but certainly not least, we're going to look at the Collaboration API. The Collaboration API contains the full set of functionalities that the viewer can provide. So we can see all the tabs here. We have the Common tab with all the annotations. We have a text editing tab. This allows you to add text inside the PDF page. And this text is fully editable. This is very useful as not only does it allow you to add your own text in the PDF, but it also allows you to edit any text on current documents that you might have. As you can see, I will edit the text here. And it still displays correctly after editing. And this is our collaborate window here. Now let's open up another window so we can see how the real-time collaboration sync works. With a duplicated browser, we now have two windows with the same URL. And I'm going to send a message here on the internal chat. And when I click send, it will go across 
and be sent to the other browsers as well. So these two browsers are currently synced through the same API. And if I add a node annotation here, you can also see it on the other browser. So all your annotations and anything related to collaboration will be synchronized automatically. And this same concept is applicable to any user anywhere. If they open it up in their browser, they will be able to see the information that you are adding on your PDF viewer and vice versa. Want to keep going? Check out these videos.